Good morning, Virgo. Hello. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring morning here at Northern Indiana. And let's get your reading. You're my first earth sign of the day. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have a Five of Pentacles Reverse Taurus Energy and a Ten of Swords Gemini Energy. Energy coming in. Ten of Swords Upright is done with the overthinking business, ready to do something about it. Could it just be something that's really been on your mind. It could be a card even of stress. What's below it? Ace of Swords. So that's interesting. Usually an Ace of Swords follows a 10 in tarot, but the Ace of Swords is actually below this. You got the Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are going to get some type of truth clarity communication that's what an ace of swords is they get you out of this they get you excited about something and maybe you're ready to end something some type of cycle it could be within a work could be within your life five of pentacles reverse is feeling included bringing somebody back in somebody bringing you in it could also be getting out of debt getting more money kind of things like that let's see what's going on sun moon rising venus virgo if you are a Virgo, know a Virgo, feel like being a Virgo. Virgos, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Virgo and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Virgo. It could resonate as the main story and Virgo can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Virgo or for a Virgo. Take it as it resonates. Collected messages for my lovely Virgoans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. That feels good. All right, what is the story that needs to come out today for Virgo? What is the story that needs to come out? What do they need to hear? What do they, ooh, Virgo. Look at that, Knight of Pentacles reverse, 10 of Cups reverse. And this all fell out. That's a lot, that's a lot. Can I just get one or two cards, please? What is the story that needs, what is the energy today? What do they need to hear? What does Virgo need to hear? King of Pentacles. It definitely feels like more money. It feels like a level up in your career, influencing the King of Pentacles. What is that? This flips, whatever. Two, Hangman Reverse. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles Reverse. Same old, same old's been happening. And the Knight of Pentacles Reverse is also a card of managing negative expectations. And that's your card. So it's not only has something not been going well, maybe for a while, or maybe you've been stuck for a while because you got the Hangman Reverse, cutting yourself free from that. But it's not, it's no more overthinking. This is a lot like a nine of swords where you're constantly worried about something. But I feel like there's like a lack of action, maybe because there's a lack of incentive. But then you have an ace of swords coming in, which is really something that's setting you free from something you may have really outgrown. Because even below that, you got a four of pentacles reverse and then the world. I feel like there's some type of level up and you're over, and you might be thinking about taking it. Should I do this? Can I do this? Because maybe there's like a move involved here. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for Virgo? Eight of Swords. The the thinking. Being feeling like you might be still stuck to something that you've been in. But the Eight of Swords talks about the mind. And this is a person who feels like they can't but she's really not trying to get out of this. It's just really thinking about something. I feel like some of you are thinking about an offer. What's in the past? Ah, oh, I just dropped some cards. Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords Reverse. And there's probably, that's probably what it is right there. One second, Virgo. I don't think these cards could have fallen in a more un, unopportune place. One second. I have to go get them. It's like three cards that fell way under the desk. Or maybe it's two cards. I'm curious what it is though. Oh no, it's three. They felt like this. Let's see. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse, Seven of Wands, and a Three of Cups. That Queen of Swords reverse honestly feels like it feels like another energy 
if we're being honest, because you got the three of cups and the seven of wands. It feels like somebody could have been trying to get you your attention. Seven of wands is getting attention, right? Fighting for this. But a three of cups, I almost feel like it could be, it could be friend zoned. It could be, um, can't we just keep it right here for now? And the ace of cups reverse is a lack of giving that cup over. which could put somebody on the defensive with that queen of queen of swords reverse is somebody who pulls themselves back because they're hurt or they don't know what to do i honestly feel like there's some type of offer here for a virgo but they're just kind of you just don't know what to do with it what's on your mind what is on virgo's mind page of cups hopefulness happiness love what's in the near future what's in the near future ten of wands that ten of wands fell out between interesting enough the nine of wands and the queen of wands you got sagittarius and aries virgo did you hurt somebody's feelings i Queen of Wands and the Strength Reverse. I feel like there is something or someone who you might have feelings for, but you don't know what to do with it because there's logistics. Work is taking a priority here with the King of Pentacles. I kind of feel like somebody's pulling themselves back because nothing's happening. And now the Ten of Wands is like, I feel like this is on you. Eight, nine, and 10 because you, they're tired of waiting. And the queen of wands over here you might i don't know you might have somebody waiting and somebody might be getting tired of waiting what is this king of pentacles center of the reading king of pentacles center of the reading king of pentacles taurus energy center of the reading yep two of pentacles which is capricorn's queen of pentacles what's below it Seven of Swords reverse and the Two of Wands. There's Two of Wands is holding the world upright. I feel like somebody might be keeping themselves their schedule free because of work. That's what I'm I'm really feeling because the King of Pentacles directly feels like work to me. And that feels like where the priority is. And you could have connected with somebody where it's great, but you're just not ready for what this entails. So you don't know what to say and you don't know what to do because you don't want to lose it, but you don't know what you can do with it right now. What is the hangman reverse and the knight of pentacles reverse influencing energy hangman reverse and the knight of pentacles reverse. King of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I feel like that's that Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody is seeing nothing growing here. And there is nobody, whoever this is, the offer is not going to be on the table forever. And this King isn't doing anything with it. And this could be about you, Virgo, or this could be a Virgo doing this to somebody else. But I could tell you, Virgo likes this person, wants this person, wants this offer, but they're not doing anything with it. And they want to keep it like a page of cups. They want to keep it in this zone. It's like, can't we just stay where right here? Why do we have to define this? What's the eight of swords reason for the reading? Eight of swords reason for the reading. Yep. There's the knight of pentacles reverse. Knight of Pentacles reverse is Virgo energy. We have two Knight of Pentacles reverse and it, this horse is not moving. It feels very stuck. It feels like months go by and you're in the exact same place and the other person doesn't want that. They don't like that. And it's got them worried like because nothing's happening, does it? do they not like me? Do they not want me? What's the Eight of Swords reason for the reading? Lovers. No, they want. it. it the connection is definitely there. Why... Ugh. Whoever is stalling, why are they stalling? Why are they stalling? Whoever this is for. There, devil. Why are they stalling? I saw an empress below it. Why are they stalling? Four of wands. 
seven of pentacles there's the waiting could it be for the right time wheel of fortune i don't think they're gonna stay stalled they're waiting for a right time they're waiting for something look at the tower i think the queen there's the queen of pentacles upright it feels like waiting for the right time four of wands is happiness it's the wedding card stability but somebody's reflecting on and it does feel like this earth you know like the taurus energy here is really really thinking should i offer this or waiting for somebody to to be able to give their three of pentacles rightly so somebody might be waiting for somebody to come right to them ready for them to come correct to them virgo if you're the one waiting i just feel like somebody's holding themselves back for the right time for somebody to be ready what is this three of cups ace of cups reverse and the nine of swords queen of cups in the past Yeah, Eight of Swords reverse. That's what I'm thinking about. I think whoever's on hold feels like this person doesn't, it might be playing them, doesn't really care. They might be saying one thing, but really wanting something else. They don't know. Because the Eight of Swords reverse is like, you know, not seemingly not worried about it. And maybe somebody feels like they were let on. What's the Page of Cups on your mind though? What's the Page of Cups on Virgo's mind? There you are, the Magician and the Sun. World Reverse under here, King of Swords. I just feel like somebody's like, I see metaphorically tapping their foot like, okay, how long is this going to go? How long is this going to go? What are you waiting for? I think communication is key in this. Page of Cups is love messages. It's happiness. It's cute. But where's like the Page of Swords? Where's the Page of Pentacles? That's what, there's no Page of Pentacles. Ace of, the Knight of Pentacles reverse, which looks like an Ace of Pentacles reverse. With this King, this is somebody saying, hey, it will be on my time. And that doesn't feel good. So whoever's holding back needs to realize by not giving the proper communication, it really makes it look like there's this player energy involved here. Because why should it be on this king's time? If you see this person as your true pair, because you got the queen of pentacles, don't they deserve the same respect of communication here and understanding of what's going on? I just feel like somebody's so used to like being in control that they don't know how to be 50-50 in a relationship maybe you know okay what's the ten of wands nine of wands and queen of wands in the near future i feel like somebody will really regret it if they screw this up and i feel like somebody's screwing this up nine and ten of wands and the queen of wands in the near future yep six of cups reverse that's somebody's scorpio and the look at the fool and the temperance and there's the ace of cups I, in the Ten of Wands reverse, I, in the Eight of Wands reverse, oh my gosh, Five of Wands, and then here's the other person who's put, who put them on hold, going to hold on to this. Let me tell you, if you're the one putting somebody on hold, you will regret it because for whatever reason, I think you found somebody you can actually see yourself with, but they're not, they're not going to stay here forever. I mean, you're talking a Queen of Wands here. You're talking a Queen of Pentacles, somebody who knows their worth. And they're not feeling, they're feeling a bit worthless when this king is saying, oh, I don't know if I want this. That doesn't feel good to anybody, right? So Ace of Cups reverse, you got the Fool and the Temperance. I just feel like somebody's going to say, okay, enough's enough. You know, you do you, I do me, and you'll never do me again, you know, and move forward. And I do feel like this person has options. That's what is so screwy about this. Is somebody holding out for a better option? because I don't know if it's really necessarily there. And this devil in, be, with, in between the lovers and the four of wands, somebody might have be conflicted over this connection. But at the end of the day, you got the wheel of fortune and you got the tower. So I'm not saying, actually I am saying, because it really does feel like this, this is kind of, you don't get too many of these that come across your table when you get an energy like this and somebody's kind of being very callous with somebody else's heart. And for some people watching this, it's going to be a Virgo doing it. And for others, it's happening to a Virgo. 
that's just how energy is with these readings. So I just feel like somebody's screwing up a good thing, to be honest. Page of Wands, but a Page of Pentacles reverse. The Page of Cups is there. The Page of Wands is there. But again, Page of Pentacles is reverse. I felt that over here. So I'm not surprised to see that. Justice reverse and the Six of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Swords. I think somebody's going to play themselves, honestly, and screw this up. All right, Virgos. Uh, I, do, I just, good luck for whoever is in this situation. I feel like if it's happening to you, um, you should really stand your ground. Don't let somebody push your boundaries and draw a hard line in the sand. Teach people how to be treated, how you should be treated and walk if you need to walk. And really that probably will make this person snap into, you know, taking charge because they, it's, it's interesting because on your mind here is the magician, right? But if you look at the magician card, he has all the aces on his table, but he's not doing anything with it. This person has all the aces, but they're not doing with it. They have a gold mine, but they're not doing anything with it. It's time to do something with it, right? You just don't want to miss this opportunity for whoever this is for. So, all right, my Virgos, have a great, great rest of your week and take care.